Jason's sure. office. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Daddy's on the call. Okay. Okay, go play. We have a bee in here. The greenhouse is alive. <laughs> sitting in the shade of the uh, banana tree. It's his little office. Yep. I'm fuzzy. It's my tropical office. <laughs> I'm fuzzy. It's a pretty nice office you I got know. there. I got a view of the outside, the greenhouse. What more can I want? So there's bees in here today. Sweet. I know. Oh. Bees like multiple? Two. I wow. saw two. So do they eat thrip? No, they don't eat thrip, but like, you know, other yeah, ones will so come in here. If bees yeah. are in here, that means that there's gonna be ladybugs, lace wings, all that stuff. Cool. Oh, you okay? Oh, I know. It'll come off in the laundry though. That's what happens when we play outside. It's okay, we're outdoor kids. We get dirty. And then we wash it, right? Aw. <laughs> Time to retire the popcorn machine for now. Yep. We'll bring it back out in the fall time. It's just right now, once it gets hot and humid, you don't want it to rust. And we can even bring it out during the summer for maybe like one of our nighttime bonfires. That'd yep. be fun. Yeah, we could plug it in. So I'm gonna transport some of our seedlings that are ready here out to the greenhouse. All right. The really cool thing is that we no longer need a paper bag to bring them in because it's nice out. You look like a waitress. Seedlings a la carte. <laughs> Girls, we're bringing out more seedlings. Cool. Oh, that sun feels so good. Daddy. Gonna need another bench soon, huh? Um, I mean, oh. overall, yeah, but I gotta rearrange Bye. a few things, so. Well, Jason helped me get the table out of the greenhouse. It was taking up a lot of room in that back right corner. We're airing out some of our sunflowers here because they were quite the thrip magnet so I just want to uh, let them get out here in this natural breeze and hopefully it'll draw in any beneficial bugs that may have possibly hatched out here. So inside the greenhouse then I went ahead and cleaned up the areas. These are what I call the start areas because that's where we bring the seedlings and our newly uh, started plants. So I went ahead and cleaned off all the benches after I moved those out of here, kind of spraying off anything that could collect any bad bugs and just got it a little bit more organized. We moved the zinnias over to the middle and now look at that nice big space we have over there. So it doesn't feel so cramped in here now. Look at those kind of feathers. They look like they're from like a hawk. We'll have to have daddy come out and look at these, huh? I can't get on the boat, oh no. Yep, come on, paddle to me, paddle to me. And you're getting closer, closer, yes. Mommy made it. Yay. Yeah. Thank you, Lana, for all that hard working paddling. <laughs> Closing time. Time for all the dun -a, dun -a, dun. <laughs> not sure if she's coming back out or not.
<laughs> yep, they'll do anything for fun. Yep. Me and Santa, this the woods. We got fuzzy trees. Yep, these are the sumacs. So this is the time of year where they start getting a little furry, but then they fill out with this beautiful lime green foliage. Sunflower seeds. Ooh. Daddy. Cool. So these were sunflowers that just reseeded on their own last year. We're over in our north side gardens here. Runs along the north side of the house. And we're dropping some preen down to stop a lot of the weed growth com from coming in over here. We don't do much over here other than just keep adding more and more perennials and shrubs. We want this to just become like a natural area that we don't really have to maintain. Last year we didn't add in any preen like we did for previous years and we really paid for it. It was so much work maintaining the weeds over here and pulling. Yep, the whole driveway here was weeds and it was just crazy. But as you can tell, this is just like a step one of these gardens and I started planting this area three years ago and the driveway ends right here. But what's gonna eventually happen is this driveway will continue around the property and it will eventually wrap around and meet up with the driveway over by the garden oasis on the other side of the house. Every year it's just one step at a time and eventually we'll get there and uh, we'll be able to open up to the, to the public before you know it. <laughs> this year we're gonna start bringing in some, some different loads of topsoil in the front here and over here for some big berms and put, start putting some trees on them. Start covering the front of the house now too. We're pretty much trying to cover in the whole property for privacy so that way when we open and provide Airbnb here um, and have events, it'll really have its own feeling. Yep, so we're having fun on this nice day. We don't take any nice days for granted here. We uh, really utilize them, that's for sure. Work it, shake it. <laughs> shake what your mama gave you. I don't want to fall. <laughs> oh gosh, there's some uneven stone patches here from uh, plowing this winter. <laughs> Almost fell off there. <laughs> Would have been done for the whole gardening season. <laughs> What's up? Okay, I'm waiting. We'll get you a bigger bike. All right, don't worry. Just be happy you got something to ride. Uh, it's so uncomfortable. I know, you grew so much. You grew. All right, here comes little Sayla. Hello. <laughs> Sayla, don't go too fast now. <laughs> <laughs> Up a little more. There you go. Way to help each other out. Thank you, Mama. Now we are going for a ranger ride. I knew you can say that. <laughs> Woohoo! With little popsicles. Look at those. Yum, yum.
So we always come in here one last time at the end of the day to check the seedlings one more time just so that way none of them are dry and sit overnight dry because then that means by tomorrow they'll be dead. What's wrong? What's going on over here? I my favorite peas that I needed. Oh, you gotta let those peas form in there. Wow. I was saving, I was saving it for, she ate it the day I wanted it. Yeah, so we're gonna be getting the peas going in the garden soon. So then that way we'll be able to have tons of peas. And then there'll be no fighting over peas. Holy cow, mommy get over here. What? Ha, I can eat this one, look at it. Let me see it. Whoa, now that's a true Maxigolt pea. But, but we have to share. Oh, only one for each of you. One. No more. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, they are super tiny. See, they probably needed another day. Are they good? Yeah. Real sweet, huh? That's what we love about the Mexico variety is it has such a good flavor, doesn't it? Mexico girls are hungry from all that bike riding, huh? Can I have wow, her peas are way bigger. I want one. Yep, mm -hmm. Lana gave you one, Sayla. Sayla. Sharing is caring. There you go, sharing is caring, you're right. Mm. Can I eat it? I want it, no me. No, mama gets some. <laughs> Get away. Get away! <laughs> Should I just pick it? Because it hasn't really gotten much bigger. Yeah, well, you know. might as well. We all get one bite off of that cucumber. No, it's mine. <laughs> Look at even Fuzzy wants to hang out in here, huh? By the little pickles. Look at little Fuzz. Fuzzy We're gonna start calling Fuzz. Fuzzy little pickles, huh? Why? I like that nickname. That is Look cute. Look at you got some light. Oh yeah. She's so cute. Such a good little kitty. Can you see me? Yep. All right, Sayla's filming. I'm actually going to eat my first pea. Wow. <gasps> oh, I want one now. Hey, make sure I'm in the camera. Look at she got, she got pea shocked. <laughs> Let mommy have at least one pea. <gasps> that That's really, real. I can't even believe she did that. I haven't had a single pea. I haven't had a single pea yet. Don't worry, I haven't had one for you. Mom's Gonna try All right, I found one. another one. Say wait two. Ooh, look at that! See, now Mama's gonna enjoy. With the tomatoes too, I always bring the little flowers together and rub them myself. But we've been having the bees in here now, which is awesome. And I already see some little tomatoes forming here, so that's awesome. I've been just rubbing the flowers together and kind of self-pollinating and then they're also in front of this fan which is blowing them like the wind so it's been working out great. Go ahead Sela. You're not running? No. My legs a little bit <laughs> crazy, crazy little Lana. It's so this outdoor air is so good for the little ones. Woohoo! The new fall patch. Ooh, there's a lot of cool stones too, you guys. Ooh, this is a really cool one. I love rock hunting, uh -huh. and I know the girls do too. <gasps> Oh, look at girls, this would make a good tooth. A good fake tooth, right? I want that. They love trying to trick the tooth fairy. I yeah, I tried last, last night, but she didn't come. I was just pretending to. Look at this one, it feels so weird. Let's see. Look. Whoa, Let's see that's cool. A river. A river over here, we got a river. It's really fun being able to just come out and explore the land. We enjoy just the simple things. There's like a little step in the middle of the river here. Isn't that cute? What do you smell, Fuzz, huh? What do you smell, huh? 
Fuzzy's hunting out here. She probably smells something from that hole. Probably, huh? What is it? It's a rock. Oh, that is pretty cool. Where's Fuzzy? <gasps> Fuzzy! Get her. I think Fuzzy has something. She's all, like inside of that hole, grabbing at something. Yep, she is. Fuzzy. Oh, must be like a mouse nest in there. She was small, right? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. She got good smell notes. Yep. She knows something's in there. <laughs>